So next week, we, we will have presentations. We change a little bit the presentation. We take 20% of your score, and the final report increase to 40%. Before, it's like 30% uh, and 30%. So the reason is because uh, like uh, students, you guys send us email like, uh, presentations are easy to make. <laughs> it's uh, six minutes, when, and the report is much harder to write. So we give more scores to the re final report. The final report due will be in two weeks, like uh, 19th, So which means you have another week after the presentation. You can still do run more experiments to get it. If you run out of credits, you can ask, still ask me. Uh, we still have a, li a little bit of credits, not too much, but we, we have still have someone. Question? Wait, 17 or 19? Nin 19th. So on the Sunday? Yes, on the Sunday. Um, let me double check if it's Sunday or Friday, but we should update, we will update the website. I think the website is already updated. I remember it's 19th, but I, I will double check it later. Yeah. Okay, we will tell them, like, because we asked uh, the department an uh, hour ago for that. Okay. Okay, so today we will finish the gradient descent and talk a little bit about momentum add-ons. And finally, most importantly, we will give a summary of the class and talk about the things we didn't cover. Like, uh, the difference is pretty large. And today, Alex and I are talking about uh, how many percent we cover for deep learning. Alex thinks it's 20%. Well, <laughs> that's only for deep learning. We still have machine learning AI that's pretty big. But I don't think so. We maybe cover at least 30% of the topics. So which means we didn't cover everything, each topic, but we still get decent view of that. You, you get enough uh, knowledge to do any deep learning projects. If you go to PhD, uh, if you apply PhD or like uh, doing a job, I think it's enough as a beginning, uh, not well, you still have a lot of things to learn, but let's start with graded descent and start a cast graded descent. We already have, so we already showed that before. It's pretty quick, and the idea uh, we already use a lot during the uh, our the past uh, lectures. So here we show a very simple example. Given f x equal to x uh, squared, I uh, use x equal to ten as the initial point. Use the linear rate eta equal to 10, 0 0.2. So the idea is very simple. You start with zero, x equal to zero, and run 10 epochs. And each time we linear rate times the gradient of the uh, function and update x. And finally, we can return, okay, what is the value? You can, see, you can find, okay, the x is pretty close to the zero. Zero is the optimal. It's a convex, we know the, minim, uh, the minimum is a global minimum. So also here's a, it's a small function which is show the trace. So you can see that, okay, I need to run that one. Okay. Um, so here we're using zero, the learning rate 0 0.2. You can see that here's the initial point and any point is one iteration. We mentioned it before when we far away from the optimal uh, point. The gradients will be large. Given the same step size, each step will run uh, far away. And when we close to the optimal point, the gradient decreases usually, and then the progress made is much slower down. Okay, that's a, and at least for convex optimization from the convergence rate theory, we show that for um, results. Uh, so we can use in a, uh, Smaller than your rate, we didn't change anything, but now each step will work less uh, with a less step size. So you can see that each step we work in a shorter sentences, uh, shorter step, a step, and then given the same number of epochs, it's still far away from the optimal point. And if we run a larger step size, then you work too far away from, you just pass the optimal and you have a lot of um, problems here. So which means the learning rate cannot be too small, although you will not make decent progress, or cannot be too large. Then you have a lot of trouble here. So this is a little bit of visualization, and here we train another function called, um, as a two dimensions. The second dimension is a little bit larger, is two times x um, two uh, squared. 
the first dimension is a little bit smaller. And we're using minus 5, minus 2 as the initial point. And here's a, another function that is let you to like visualize the results. So here we do, we assume the trainer we accept the current x1 and x2, this is a two dimension of the x, and with the additional state. We will talk about state in a minute. So assume we have state one, so this state for the first dimension, s2 is state for the second dimension. Every time we update both the point and both the state, and we can visualize it. Um, let me run that one. Okay, that's another function to show the trace. Now here's the gradient descent. We define the object function, which is um, equal to here, this is the mass definition of it, and we define how to compute the gradients. Now given the current state, uh, we compute the gradients, and given the learning rate, we just update x1, x2. So this is very similar we had before, but only for two dimensions. So you can see that this is the initial point. We made very good um, progress. The optimal point, again, is just all zeros. So um, that is the proper learning rate. Well, if this is a gradient descent, we didn't have real data, so I just adding a bunch of random noises into the stochastic gradient descent. We know that the gradient expectation, this is unbiased. But because we only evaluate a single example, each e example have a lot of voice, uh, noise, so which makes the gradient have a lot of noise. So at the beginning, uh, here we just, just do some synthetic data, adding some synthetic uh, no noises here. We can see at the beginning it's fine, but at the end, you have a little bit of trouble here. So the pretty um, standard SGD, you converge very fast at the beginning, but at, at the end, you suffer a little, suffer a little bit. So we usually need to decrease the learning rate that is on the, all the homeworks. We see that to get a good results, you need to decrease the learning rate at the end. So that's all. Also, we, um, 